So you're on now. You can take it away when you're ready. Take it, talk about whatever you want. Seriously? Seriously. Uh, my eldest son is in recovery. He's been sober for 10 months and 30 days. Okay. How old is your eldest son? 23. Okay. So that's pretty exciting. It is exciting. Can I ask how he got there in the first place? How or he got sober? Or how he, how got, he high? got like high, I guess. Fuck. Good question. He was a super good student. Okay. Had lots of friends. Okay. Played travel hockey. Okay. His dad was a bit of a dick. Okay. How, um, do we want to get into that, or are we leaving that a dick? I don't dick? think we have enough time in this car ride. <laughs> Shit, okay. <laughs> but uh, instead of dealing with his issues, he decided to uh, do drugs, and then that spiraled out of control. Okay. And he was like 19, 20, 21, and homeless, and he was heavily addicted to opiates. Nice. So if you know, uh, the recovery rate from opiate addiction is very low. Okay. And, uh, yeah. But he's in, in that, like, low, you know. Uh, most people die before they get clean. Yeah, but, like, I'm saying he's in the small he's clean, percentage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's there clean you go. And working and Got to uh, win there. So can I ask you, like, you said homeless, like, you're his mom, I assume. I had, so, yeah, I am his mom. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so, had, like. So I have two children, obviously. I have okay. uh, my eldest son and my youngest son, and I couldn't sacrifice the help of my youngest son for my eldest son who didn't want to didn't want to live. Okay. So, uh... So I you kicked him out? I had to. I'm like, if you're not going to get clean, you have to leave. So, like, what, what do you think would have been the risk to the younger one? That, that he also um, gets drugged so up, or what? The, the, the last the last day my eldest son was allowed at my house high. Okay. He wanted money to buy drugs, and obviously I was in denial. Um, what do you mean? Uh, like, you denied him money, or you were in denial that he's high? No, no, no. Nobody wants to have a drug addicted kid. Okay. So you blame it on you blame their behavior and what they're doing on other things. Right. So uh, I didn't want to give him money, and I kind of knew what was going on. So how long did you know? At that point, it was probably about a something was wrong for a long time. But he came to me and said, "He's like, Mom, I have a drug problem," and I'm like, "Okay, no problem. We can fix this." Okay. And obviously, I, I couldn't fix it because I. I, I was a loser. I, I drank was the best thing I ever did in high school. I wasn't super. I was super cool, but not a super partier. Okay. So uh, I thought that maybe I could just fix the addiction for him. And that didn't go through very well. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Um, so he wanted money. He had a birth. He had a check. My cousin had written a check for his birthday. And I had a super busy day, and I was driving my parents somewhere because my dad had to have surgery, like day surgery on something. I'm driving my youngest son somewhere else. I worked a full day. I was fucking tired. And I'm like, I'm not stopping at the bank to, to cash this check for you. And he lost his shit. Um, slamming doors. The, the only time... Wait, hold on. This check was written when he was born? No, no, no. This check was written for his birthday. Okay. I'm an immigrant. Like, my, we have an immigrant family. So okay, we're okay. all very close. And everybody gives everybody money for And them. they just sent the check. Okay, yes, okay, to okay. him. So you refused... You, you didn't want to like, check I'm it that day check, and I'm he loses his fucking, shit? I'm too fucking tired. Okay. So he loses his shit, and he gets very, very... The first time ever in his whole entire life, he got in my face, and he was so fucking angry. He slammed the door so hard, the right. trim came off the wall. Okay. And uh, my youngest son was in the bathroom throwing up. What? Like, just, like... From nerves. Because it oh. was very tense. Okay. So, and I had to call the police to have him removed from the hips. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah. So, and the last time you saw him in the house... Was that when was, the police that was took that him time. out. Okay. And then I had about two, maybe 18 months of him calling me at like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning because he was like cold and hungry and homeless. And I had to say, you're not welcome. What so month was this just so in Canada, folks? This was in probably about August. Okay. Not that bad. All right. Yeah, but he was also homeless a whole 18 months. So oh, shit. Okay. Yes. And he was a young kid, and yeah. So at no point you're like, hey, just come back, or whatever. 100% I wanted to, but I couldn't, because he wouldn't get clean, right? And I you knew this, like, death. were you, like, checking on, on him or whatever? Like, how did I you know? I was Uber-eating him food. <laughs> to where? To wherever he was at the time. And I would meet him, and I would buy him breakfast and send him groceries, but I would never give him money. Wait, like, send him groceries to, like, what location? Well, he like, would call me, and he'd say, Hey, Mom, can you, meet me for can you meet me for breakfast at whatever place? And I would meet him for breakfast, and I'm like, Hey, do you need groceries? And he'd be like, Yeah, we can, we can really use some food. So I would buy him groceries.
groceries and then had to stay in the car in whatever house he was squatting at at the time, he would bring him in. So he was just squatting at different people's houses? Yeah. No heat in the winter, no hot water. It was fucking horrible. It was every mom's worst nightmare. Okay, like, w- when you say squatting, like, these are also, like, these are, like, homeless houses? Yes. or Okay. Uh, I think you guys call them trap houses. I don't call them anything. Well, <laughs> in my day, we call them crack houses, but I think that the new term for them is trap houses. Trap houses? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He stayed in a couple of these hotels. Hotels? So, like, he was, where's you, like, he's paying for the hotel, right? Well, obviously. Well, yeah, maybe. How? Like, staying with somebody else. Okay. And somebody else would just pay for him? Or he would just stay with them, yeah. Okay. I guess he's got some nice friends. Like you said, he no, had a... I, I think they were just, everybody was just kind of in, like, a communal kind of thing. That's really weird, but... It, well, yeah. it's, whoever had money at the time was buying the drugs, and they would all kind of stay together. So he found, like, a drug gang of friends. I, ha- I have no of idea. Of some sort. Okay. I have no idea. Well, you were buying them groceries. I was buying my son groceries. I don't know who else was in them. Eating the groceries that exactly. you were buying. Okay. Well, it's, it's, so is there more to this, or, like... Well, he's clean now, so there was, a, there was bits and pieces to it, but he, he decided that he didn't want to live like that anymore. And, uh... But it took him 18 months to figure that out. Well, drug addiction... I don't think it took him 18 months to figure it out. Drug addiction is a, is a tricky... It's a tricky thing. It is? Okay. It's, it, it's very difficult, and I think people who want to get sober have a hard time getting sober. So. Right. But I don't know, like, again, sleeping out in the Canadian winter is a pretty hard time. I don't know how good these drugs are, but... I don't think the drugs are good. I think the addiction is what gets you. Yeah. And he was... Addiction is like any other disease, and it takes over. It's just not as sexy as other diseases, but it takes over, and it'll take a hold of you. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, are we going to get to the dad at all, or well, no? Well, he's good. He's clean now, and he uh, sobered up. He went okay. to rehab and solid, and now he's back at home. your house. And he's back at home because he's clean. He's doing great. He's like right. an angel. It's my miracle. I'll never ask God for anything else ever again. Well, there you go. You got that. You got the one. Yeah. So. Well, I got more than some moms get because the the um, success rate is very low. Yeah. So yeah. Well, congrats. I'm, I'm very very proud of him. It was very hard. It's probably harder than most people. Well, if, the thing is, like, you probably had a lot to do with that as well, right? Odds um, are, like, most moms who kick their kids out. Like, I've met a bunch of these people doing these rides and whatnot. Like, they're, they're, when the moms are gone, they're gone. They're not meeting up for breakfast. That's not a thing. So He's my baby, and I love well, him. Well, I assume it was their babies, too, whoever, like, you know, but, like... It's unconditional love. I loved my son when he was an adult. Well, I don't know about unconditional. You did say, like... You have to get clean to get back in the house, right? Yeah. So that is a condition. But well, I get that no, you love him unconditionally, yeah. That was that was my love for my kid. I didn't love the drug addict. I right. loved my son. Right. Okay. So, yeah. No. All right, fair enough. He's a good kid. He's done well. He's He's been through more in his 23 years than some people would be in their lifetime. Right. That's not always a good thing. Uh, but it will build can, character, can, right? Light, it's not good, it's not bad, it's just life. It just yeah. is. Uh, like... What is it? Like pressure builds diamonds or whatever? Yeah. This there's a there's a quote that's like the same pressure that makes an egg hard will make a potato soft. You get to pick. I see. Alright. Okay. How old are you? Twenty six. Wait till life kicks the shit out of you. Well, life's been kicking the shit out of me for a while, but you know. I'm kicking back a little yeah, bit. See, it gets good, it gets better. Yeah. Alright, is this you here? This is me right on the corner. Oh, you just drove past yeah, right here. All right. Well, thanks for sharing. Oh yeah, no Hopefully problem. Hopefully everything goes, you know, it smooth is. sailing from this point forth years, for you and your family. Ten months and thirty-one days, because I think we're tomorrow morning. All right, sweet. Thanks a lot. Take care. Good night. Good night.